Have you heard of a company called Wavelink? Yeah, I'm afraid me neither. So when a lot of you reached out asking about the Wi-Fi range extender, I had no idea what to tell you. But don't worry, I got you. And I got the Wavelink range extender, so let's put it to the test and find out if it works or not. Let's do it. Break it down now, phone. And welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with the Tech Guy. My name is Liron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadget, apps, tips and tricks and how to, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. So since I've never used one of the Wavelink products, um, a lot of you recommended going to banggood.com, which is the website full of tech and gadgets and as well as other categories as well. And I looked up the Wi-Fi range extender and sure enough, there it was. And in fact, Ben Good was actually good enough to send me out the wafer extender so I can do this review. So thank you for doing that. Okay, I guess this is the product I'm supposed to be testing. Let's just open it to see, make sure. Yep, it's the AC1200, it's dual band, perfect. $29.99, a whole bunch of specials going on because of the 13th year anniversary. So let's get this. Right, and a couple of days later, there it is. There's a button here, I'm not sure what it does. You got some additional aerials just to get a better range or a different type of range. Okay, cool. What else has it got? Okay, cool, it's nice, it's got a LAN port here. So in other words, you can actually connect this directly to your router if it doesn't have a Wi-Fi capability. Okay, let's plug it in. Now it's flashing red, which basically means the Wi-Fi is disconnected. Okay, because we haven't set it up yet. So let's do that next. Right, first step is to connect your laptop to new hotspot that you happen to have on your Wi-Fi network. You'll see it's labeled as Wavelink. You connect to wifi.wavelink.com and then you enter the username and password admin as admin as written on the extender itself. Then you want to connect this up to your local network because you're trying to extend your local Wi-Fi. So basically select it from the list and then you're going to have to enter that password, the Wi-Fi password, so it knows this is a legitimate network that you're allowed to connect to. Let's do that quickly, and then we click on the connect button. Okay, let's go find a place for this to work. I'm usually set it up halfway between where the Wi-Fi is and the area that's actually a dead zone. What I'm looking for is a blue light, which means it's getting the best reception, or a yellow light, which is okay reception, red light, uh, not so much. I'm getting blue, so which means we're good to go. Okay, back to the computer. Let's make sure we actually connect it to that extender. Yes, we are. Let's fire up something like YouTube. I don't want to get any copyright strikes, so I'm going to go into my own channel. All right, there it is. Let's fire up a video. Okay, you can see internet connectivity works perfectly fine, and there's the video playing. So I'm obviously connected, and it's obviously working. But is it any good in the dead zone? Let's see that. Right, firing up the Wi-Fi analyzer. So first of all, let's connect to my existing network, which is that Hamash network. That's the one without the extender. Let's see what signals I'm gonna get. Right, Wi-Fi analyzer, network 162 megabits per second. And that is the signal I'm getting. Okay, let me go to the dead zone. And you'll see what I mean when I get there. This thing just dies. The signal is just miserable. And we're down to, what, 13 megabits per second. Beautiful. Oh, 27. Now let's change it to the range extender. Remember, this is my existing network. Now I'm going to change it to the range extender. There it is, the 5G one. Okay, let's see if it makes a difference to the signal. Wi-Fi analyzer again. There it is. And boom, 81 megabits per second. 108 megabits per second. Beautiful. This thing works. I'm pretty impressed with this little guy. I've just left it plugged in and it just works and works and works. I wasn't expecting much and it's been pleasantly surprised. Now speaking of Wi-Fi, I do have a lot of videos talking about how to optimize your Wi-Fi, getting the most out of your Wi-Fi that you're actually paying for. I'm pointing at these videos frantically because those are the videos you should be checking out. Hit the head below to subscribe if this is your first time here. Give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you in those videos. Point frantically now.